distance and quite a competition we'll see out there. Of course, the top three squads from all three CRL regions will be representing against each other. And you got to imagine that Complexity would love a chance to go show off their skills on the international stage. Yeah, you can't. You Got to imagine they felt like they were a bit robbed last season, being perfect for so long and then just barely missing the boat. So now, Colton, Razor, opening up. Giant Skelly, some baby dragon love. Yeah, Colton and Razor not exactly playing the center of their uh, 2v2 meta. They've gone mostly to Lava Hound this season, eight and three overall in 2v2 games when they run Lava. Rascal Boy will get to the tower. A couple swings in. An easy King Tower activation. And oh. Miner one step outside. And a double pickup, though. So a little miscommunication here from Complexity. I don't think that King Tower got activated. Wait, did it not get there? I don't believe so. I looked. I was like, that King Tower is activated. Let me look over what's happened to the Miner. <laughs> yeah, that Baby Dragon and a late NATO actually keep it from being activated. The NATO woes continue for Complexity now. That's... You know, in the last couple of matches, that's about three or four rough tornado plays. Adds up three elixir and single elixir. 2v2 flows slower. Those mistakes compile upon one another. Graveyard comes out for complexity. Poison in response from Fnatic. Rascal Girls also helping behind their big brother do some cleanup work. Giant Skelly Bomb takes out that Baby Dragon before actually getting on the Rascals there. So a very nice turn of events for Fnatic. And Miner does not pull that giant skeleton away, and the giant snowball behind does its cleanup duty as well. So now we'll see what complexity can do with four now fairly healthy troops, and they walk directly into a perfectly timed rocket. And that also helps out because the bats turn the opposite direction and completely go for that graveyard. And now Miner on the tower as well, so Fnatic with a fantastic 15 seconds of gameplay. Yeah, and it could have been all the much better had that skeleton barrel come down a half a second later and not met the bomb of the giant skeleton from Complexity, kind of taking away a bit of the threat that they were trying to build. So minor control for Fnatic, double graveyard for Complexity. They are currently two and one in games when running graveyard. I don't believe we've seen this deck construction from Fnatic yet. So with their backs against the wall, changing things up against arguably at least one of the top three 2v2 duos in all of CRL West. Yeah, it's like a, a light spell bait in the sense of snowball, poison, log, bar barrel. Freeze comes in and helps out a little bit, but Poison in response cleans that up. We are now 15 seconds into sudden death overtime, and both squads playing very well after a couple early miscues. Giant Skelly picks up the minor. Rocket on the other side to clear out Musketeer. Rocket value, big one from Fnatic, so they do take a fairly significant lead. And that's something that Complexity is going to have to be very cognizant of, both of them having Dark Princes in their hand. That is now the best option to pick up a Miner so that you are avoiding that rocket damage. Miner comes in and there, and let them listen to you, Andrew. Dark Prince goes for the pickup. Ice Whiz behind Baby Dragon, so they're not letting that Skeleton Barrel do much of anything if they have their way about it. Yeah, all the Splash Troops on the board. Miner in one more time, goes to the inside, and Skeletons pick it up for one second, but Miner does get a swing and the poison actually misses the tower there. That's a big missed poison, and now poison out of cycle. So we'll see if Complexity can take advantage of the moment. Yeah, they have not gotten their poison down offensively, though, Andrew. That's very true, and that would have really helped against those Dark Goblins and the Bats. Giant Skeleton Bomb doing great work for both squads here, keeping a lot of these pushes at bay. And now, under 1,000 HP for Complexity, Fnatic getting very, very close to spell cycle range. Yeah, and Complexity just not able to get a tank on that Princess Tower to assist with their graveyard. And now that Miner coming in, 693 remaining on the tower. They are in big, big trouble. Another double drop from Complexity on defense and not alternating sides with that double drop. So unable to get that down, but a there nice tornado. Go. Giant Snowball does activate King Tower. 
Yeah, it's uh, a great use of the NATO Snowball to get rid of all those small troops, but in turn, they activate the King Tower, so kind of taking care of one problem and adding another. And now Complexity trying to pour it on. Miner does get to their tower. Skeletons do not pick it up in time. 501, 437, wow. there's the rocket. Complexity falls, and you talk about miscommunications, double drops, wasted NATOs, and that's kind of been plaguing Complexity as of late. You know that these are all-star stellar players in this 2v2 set, but maybe they're just starting to feel the pressure. So you see a very early King Tower activation there by Complexity, and now Fnatic going all in on this push with a big Ram Rider connection. You see Razor a little unhappy with what happened in that moment. 30 seconds out, and they've already eaten a pretty big shot on the left-hand side. Yeah, Fnatic has been playing some incredible 2v2 today. And Ram Rider in, Giant Skeleton, not enough on its own, but you throw in a Giant Snowball on a Baby Dragon. Can stop that first minute away, and Graveyard comes out again. And a very nice series of interactions there for Complexity. The Giant Skeleton actually getting in front of the Baby Dragon. Bomb going to take out the Inferno Tower, so working out okay, but not actually getting much damage in. 2199 is that left-hand tower against 1723. Baby Dragon picks up the Electro Wiz. We are reaching the midway point of regulation time, and a second graveyard does come down. Baby Dragon just enough across the river to tank for it for a few moments. Yeah, and you see Fnatic has been doing such a great job of keeping tanks at bay, not able to cross the river. This honestly is one of the more successful graveyard pushes they've had thus far. And with that, Complexity does take the lead by a very, very small margin, about 40 or about 60 HP. Miner in and to the safe spot one more time. Ram Rider pushed back by the log and a lightning oh, comes in. What a great lightning and then the stun from the E was there. Even without the Ram Rider connection, we've got a great bit of damage in and that is the best way to use lightning to catch your opponent off guard when your troops are within Princess Tower range. Mikkel and Faye have both been fantastic in 2v2. Mikkel at four and one overall in sets. Faye at seven and three. A win today would put him at an astounding eight and three overall on the season. Yeah, one of the better 2v2 players that has kind of been flying under the radar because, you know, there's been so many other things that have been surprising with Fnatic, whether it's a, a great play by Mikkel, Javi doing his thing in head-to-head -head play, but Faye has been their 2v2 rock. And that's a nice pickup, and you see the skeletons come in first, and Dark Prince goes forward to meet the Ram Rider. Wow. Man, what a big connection. Once again, we see the Ram Rider today just doing everything possible for the squad repping it. And Graveyard met again by Poison Fanatic in a pretty good position. Lightning wow. comes down. You see the wag of the finger. Faye with